Did you know that in astrophotography, it's the camera, not the telescope, that makes all the difference? Even with a modest telescope, a high-quality camera can capture stunning images of the universe. At Adaisla, exploration is our passion. Join us as we dive into the world of astrophotography and help you choose the perfect camera. With our step-by-step -step guide, capturing deep space and planetary wonders is easier than ever. First, let's talk about the two major types of astrophotography. Planetary imaging focuses on bright objects like the moon and planets. Here, the key is speed. Due to their proximity, planetary imaging requires short exposures but high frame rates FPS, to combat atmospheric distortion. Deep sky photography, in contrast, deep sky photography focuses on distant galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters. These faint objects require long exposures to collect enough light, meaning you need a camera capable of reducing noise and maintaining sharpness over extended periods. This is where long exposures and cooling systems come into play. Ensuring that the heat generated during long sessions doesn't create noise in your images, but choosing a camera for these purposes requires knowing the specific features that matter. When selecting an astrophotography camera, a few critical features determine the image quality. Sensor size, full-frame sensors, like the ones in the Nikon D850 and Canon EOS Rai, are ideal because they capture more light, which is crucial for deep sky objects. However, crop sensors like APS-C sensors in the QHY 168C offer excellent alternatives, particularly for those on a budget. Resolution, high resolution sensors ensure that every detail in the night sky is captured. For planetary imaging, even smaller sensors, one, two megapixels, can produce excellent results. But deep sky photographers often prefer sensors with 20, 45 megapixels. Cooling systems, long exposure times during deep sky photography can generate heat, which in turn creates noise in images. To counter this, many dedicated astrophotography cameras feature cooling systems that lower sensor temperatures, preventing noise and improving image clarity. ZWO cameras, like the ASI 1600mm Pro, are also renowned for their cooling features. But alternatives such as the QHY 600M Pro or Altair Hypercam 183C Pro offer equally effective solutions without ecosystem lock-in. Manual controls. The ability to manually adjust ISO, aperture, and exposure time is essential. Cameras like the Nikon D5300 and Canon EOS Rebel T7. I allow users to tweak settings to suit different astrophotography conditions. Several camera models are specifically tailored for astrophotography. Below are a few noteworthy examples. Nikon D850 with a 45, 7MP full-frame sensor. This DSLR is a favorite for deep sky astrophotography. Its excellent noise control and high dynamic range make it capable of producing breathtaking images of faint celestial objects. The D850 also offers extended ISO ranges up to 102400. Sony A7S3. Known for its incredible low light performance, the A7S3 features a 12, 2MP sensor that excels in astrophotography. Although its resolution is lower than the Nikon D850, it makes up for it with sensitivity, offering ISO levels as high as 409600. Canon EOS Ray. Designed specifically for astrophotography, the Canon EOS Ray has a 30, 3MP sensor and a modified infrared filter, which enhances its ability to capture nebulae and other cosmic phenomena. Its mirrorless design also offers a 30x live view magnification, making it easier to focus on distant objects. Planetary imaging demands a camera that can capture high frame rates, since planets are relatively small in the night sky. Jupiter covers just 51 arc seconds. High FPS is critical. Dedicated planetary cameras like the ZWO ASI 224MC, Altair GPCAM V2 excel in this regard, capturing 60 FPS or more, enabling you to gather thousands of frames in minutes. By stacking these frames, you can produce clear, detailed images, even under less than perfect conditions. Lucky imaging technique. Planetary imagers use this technique, taking many frames per second, FPS, to beat atmospheric turbulence. The higher the FPS, the more good quality frames can be captured during moments of stable seeing conditions. 
When capturing faint deep sky objects, long exposure times are crucial, and a camera with low noise and effective cooling is essential. Dedicated cooled cameras excel in this area by maintaining sensor clarity during extended imaging sessions. For deep sky imaging, the QHY268M and QHI600M PRO offer cooling that lowers sensor temperatures by up to 35 degrees Celsius, reducing noise. The Altair Hypercam 183C features tech cooling and a Sony IMX 183 sensor for clear, noise-free images. Not ready to invest in high-end gear? No problem, there are budget-friendly options that still deliver exceptional performance. The Nikon D, 5300 and Canon EOS Rebel T7i are versatile DSLRs with 24. Two MP sensors, making them ideal for both planetary and deep sky imaging while remaining affordable. For those venturing into deep sky photography on a budget, the Altair Hypercam 183C offers robust cooling features at a great price point. Meanwhile, the compact Sony Alpha A6000 provides a 24. 3 MP sensor offering excellent value and performance for aspiring astrophotographers. The universe is vast, and with the right camera, you can capture its beauty in stunning detail. Whether your passion lies in planetary or deep sky imaging, there is a perfect camera to meet your needs. For more astrophotography tips and cosmic discoveries, subscribe to Adisla and join us in exploring the stars together.